Hey guys, quick fix here. All right, so we have a 2008 ML 350, 3.5 uh, liter V6. Uh, we have issue, customer was driving, the belt shredded, uh, most likely because of the pulleys, uh, which I can show you there on what I'm doing. Uh, you are gonna need special tools. You're gonna need a E10 and an E12 Torx bit set, or at least just those two to do the job, uh, if you were wondering. Um, so, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, so we're gonna start off with the E10. Break this free. Let's loosen. Come on, girl. There we go. Feels good. Go. See if I can take that by hand now. Here's one. Now here's two. It's E12. <clears throat> this one may be. Okay. Here we go. Feels good. Not by hand though. Here we go. The reason why I'm taking these off first before I even go to the parts store is so I can match them up. So I know insulation, I shouldn't have any issues. Because when I call them, they were acting like there's different kinds for the same thing. Alright, I'll show you guys when it's time to install. Thank you. Alright, so we got the replacement parts. Now it's time to install. Okay, so here's the lower one. It goes right here. Get a few threads by hand. Make sure that's right. Yep. You know that's good. Have to retighten that up. There's the upper. Grabbing a socket. Okay. Let's make sure this is tight. Don't want to break it. Trust me, you don't want to break this. Just get hand tight. Let's grab this other e Torx. Tighten this go up too. All right. Now let's install this belt. This is a 17. So, go around the alternator. Leave that down there. Here's the idler pulley. Then we go all the way down to the power steering pump. And then from the power steering pump, go underneath the AC compressor. Let's see here. 
the AC compressor. Okay, you go from the AC compressor to the harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley. Oh, here we go, missing this screw up here. Then around the tensioner assembly. Let's see if I can get some tension over here because this belt is loose. Let's get on this AC compressor here. There we go. Power steering pump around the idler. From the idler, we go to this girl. Go to the lower idler pulley and then around the water pump. If I can bend her enough. There we go. Get on this water pump generator. Then we're going to go on to this idler pulley here. So if it wasn't clear, we go around the alternator underneath water pump. This is your lower idler pulley. And then around the tensioner assembly and around the crank shaft pulley, AC compressor, power steering pump, and from the power steering pump, we go to the uh, top idler pulley. And the tensioner goes counterclockwise, which means as if you were loosening up the tensioner, which is a 17. So you just push down, let's get this belt on here, and you slowly release it. And then once that's done, what you want to do is double check your pulleys. Make sure everything's on there. Make sure it's all aligned. Here we go. Feels good. I gotta fix the, yep, I gotta fix the power steering pump. You guys probably couldn't see it, but you can feel it. There we go, that feels better. All right, now it's time to start the vehicle. I don't know how long she was running it with her like that. Let's see if she starts up. Well, there you have it. Always remember, for better, faster service, quick fix here. Thank you guys, bye.